This is Twit. If you were thinking that, hey, you know, those iOS folks have their airdrop, which, you know, is their uh, technology for allowing you to easily and wirelessly send files between various Apple devices, iPhones, uh, uh, Macs, and otherwise, and you were wondering, huh, wouldn't it be nice if Android had something more like AirDrop? And, I mean, we already kind of have it, which has sort of been around for a bit nearby Share, which is kind of, you know, a new protocol that utilizes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to allow you to share, you know, uh, images, files, otherwise between Android devices and also Chromebooks. And it's kind of taken another step to be more of an, a proper airdrop, you know, competitor with a recent launch of a Windows 10 beta. So now you have airdrop beta for Windows 10 and up, and it will allow you to share files between your Android devices and your Windows PC. There are a few caveats about this. So this was launched Friday. It is a beta. So take that as you will. There's probably some weird UI and UX issues. I think I think both Flo and Ben Shane over at 9to5Google uh, and just noted some little kind of, you know, uh, seams uh, is beta. Um, it is limited by region, uh, but not by device. So as long as you have a modern computer with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a 64-bit OS, Windows 10 or 11, um, not ARM, so like a Surface Duo, you're out of luck for now. Um, yeah, you can give the beta a try or you can sign up to give the beta a try. And I mean, generally speaking, between our own Florence Ion and Ben Shun over at 9 to 5 Google, the, the early feedback has been positive. It, quote, just works. Uh, Flo said it, quote, already feels native. It's relatively quick to at, in terms of like the file transfer speed. Um, and yeah, so here you go. If you are an Android user and you have a Windows box and you've really found yourself wanting to an easy and very, you know, se more seamless way of transferring files rather than, say, plugging in your phone into your PC as a mass storage device and downloading Android file transfer or some other, you know, doing some other solution to, you know, being able to drag and drop files from your PC to your phone or, or vice versa. You have a lot more of a native experience um, looking at the client. It looks a lot like, you know, the Android experience that we all well know, including things like, allowing the PC to have, you know, the same visibility and naming settings that you might think of with just, you know, nearby share on your Android device. Um, so yeah, if that's something you are looking for, seems like it's a really good time to get in on that beta and give it a shot. Um, and then we'll see kind of in the future how that support might expand. Um, 9 to 5 Google, by the way, has a hands-on video if you want kind of a little more like step-by-step, blow-for-blow tour of nearby share for windows so is it something that either of y'all are excited about sharing sharing files between your windows computer and your android device takers anybody as okay. as a, a creator someone who does a lot of video and uses a pixel 7 pro to record a lot of b-roll um i definitely am looking forward to this because for, i you my workflow usually involves plugging my phone into my laptop to transfer yeah. files over this will really make my life easier. And um, thanks to Cousin of Ja, I think that in the chat he has the perfect name for it. It should be called Androp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that, give, that gives Apple a little too much credit with the naming uh, thing. But yeah, that, that is very funny. But what, what I'm most impressed by this is all the, like when, as you said, all the positive feedback from everybody who's mm -hmm. experienced this yeah. hands on about, you know, how smooth it works and how great it is and how seamless. I mean, Flo's comment about it just, it just, it, it seems like it fits and it just like, mm -hmm. and it just works. Like they really needed to get this right. And it's it's nice to see that it looks like they did, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't personally, you know, have a have a Windows machine anymore, so you know, sharing from Android to Windows isn't you know uh, helpful for me. But the promise of you know one day being able to do it to a Mac or to you know or just just the the Android to Android kind of device transferring and stuff like that, it just if the whole nearby share experience becomes seamless and delightful then that, that that's just promising for the whole operating system as a whole right yeah i, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised that this is a bit of internal tooling that google internally has been using for years and they're now just testing the water of making it more widely available yeah we talked about the cross device sdk a few months ago and um ryan over at google actually um kind of uh, amplified our tweet. And so the cross device SDK, which we kind of talked about before is kind of a, a regathering and re 
organizing of a lot of these different kind of connectivity like functionality whether that's bluetooth wi-fi and even kind of bringing in modern concepts like sh shared sessions being able to transfer some kind of authentication session from your phone to your tv across devices and that uh sdk actually does at least in terms of like looking at the documentation giving it a cursory glance is meant to support non-android devices like uh like windows and like ios so hopefully um as you said this is going to be just taking some of those like, you know, uh, nice things that they had kept to themselves to do, you know, some of the, you know, this integration work that, you know, only Google has been done, been doing, and hopefully, you know, this might be an example or just a better, you know, uh, direction forward for any kind of cross device, you know, communication and experiences. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Enjoy elevating your IT skills with IT Pro from ACI Learning. Get exclusive access to practice labs, tests with real-world simulations, hands-on experience, and test preparation. Learn the way that works best for you. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to transform your talent with the best-in-class education from passionate experts.